Welcome to Food and Travel Enthusiasts. Today we are making a Guinness chocolate cake. And here I am showing you all the ingredients that will be needed in order to make this cake. So I had some extra Guinness, so I decided, okay, let me try this recipe and see how it turned out. I can say it turned out very well, as you'll see as we progress through this video. So I know that you can choose to watch whatever video you would like, but you choose to watch mine. So I thank you very much and I much appreciate it. Be, be sure to smash that share button, follow, subscribe, comment for more videos and to tr travel with food and travel enthusiasts. So here I have about a cup and a half of Guinness and I have put a stick of butter in the mixture over medium heat and now I'm adding one cup of sugar. I would recommend you add two just to get rid of the bitterish taste but since um, I don't like much sugar, I don't like my food to be sweet, I only added one. So then I went ahead and I added three quarter cups of unsweetened cocoa and I am mixing it until it is dissolved. Then in a separate bowl, I'm going to put about a third to three quarter cups of sour cream with two eggs and I'm going to make that mixture to combine them, beat them together or whisk them together, whichever you'd like. You can use a hand mixer or you can use a bowl and um, automatic mixer. But right now I'm just using my whisk and then I'm going to add about a two tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of vanilla. Once that is mixed to completion, as you can see here, then we will go ahead and add it to our Guinness mixture of the sugar, the Guinness, the butter or the melted butter and the cocoa. And then we'll just combine that mixture. So there you see, I am adding my vanilla and then I am going to mix it together and add it to, to, to the Guinness mixture, as I said before, so that we can have a uniform mixture. I'll continue to whisk it until it, it is um, homogeneous. And then I will go ahead and add my flour. So here you see I'm adding some nutmeg to my Guinness mixture just for flavor. I like to add nutmeg and I'll add some cinnamon powder. I would say that a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon powder to that Guinness mixture is a good, um, gives it a good flavor. And if you have some rose water, you can add that as well. So here you see now I'm adding my sour cream with egg that I had beaten together to make it homogeneous and to make the butter more fluffy. And now I am just taking out the excess that was left in the container so that um, we get every last bit of it. And so then I'm going to continue to whisk that together after I have added a teaspoon or maybe two and a half teaspoon of baking soda to my flour. So that's what I'm doing there that you cannot see that I am doing. And then I'm just going to mix the flour and the baking soda together to give the the mixture a light um fluffy 
texture in the mouth so it just melts in your mouth I, I could have run that through a strainer but at this time I won't do that I'll just add my flour to the mixture in parts so as to not have any lumps in it there I go adding the flour to the mixture and I, as you see I add up about a third and I'm going to combine that together and then I am going to continue to add the rest and if the mixture is too thick you can just add a little bit more of the Guinness mixture because I only use maybe a cup and a third here to to add my flour and um, all the other soy sour cream mixture to it so it's a little bit thick and as you can see I'm going to add some more of my Guinness and butter mixture just to um, to get it to flow a little bit more and not too thick remember to share follow comment and like this video and and to learn more about food and travel and so there I just clean the sides of the pan and then now I'm adding some chopped walnuts to the mixture just a little bit and then I added some raisins and now I am putting it in my lined spring can that I had greased the bottom and then I put some release paper so as to not have the, the cake sticking to the um to the pan and so now I am scraping out the excess um into the pan to get all the mixture in because we don't want to leave any of this goodness out so we continue to do that and then I am going to shake it a little bit so everything is settled in the pan and then on top I am sprinkling some raisins and some walnut just to give the cake a good finish and I'm putting it in my preheated oven of 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I have baked it for about 45 minutes you can go 45 minutes to an hour and here is the finished product oh the goodness I have sliced it you can see that it's well aerated and now I'm tasting it Mmm, this is lovely. I had to take another bite of this delicious Guinness chocolate cake. Enjoy.